In this video, we are going to solve a problem on group theory. In a C2V molecule, if the initial and final states belong to the irreducible representations A1 and B1 respectively, the allowed electronic transition from A1 to B1 is options Z polarized, Y polarized, X polarized, X and Z polarized. The character table for C2V point group has been given. Even if it is not given, you are expected to remember this. According to me, it is not that much important. In MSc level, we don't study this particular topic. And it has been asked only once in CSR exam. Since it is very simple, let us try to solve this. They are given the initial and final states belong to the irreducible representations A1 and B1. That means the ground state is A1 and the excited state is B1. Now the transition is from A1 to B1. The polarization will be in which direction? Whether X, Y or Z. It is very simple. What I am going to do? I am going for the irreducible representation that corresponds to X, Y and Z. And I am going to multiply with this. For example, first let us go for Z. The irreducible representation is A1. So what I do? I go for A1, B1 and for Z it is A1. This is initial, this is final, ground state, excited state and this is along Z axis. Now I give the characters also 1, 1, 1, 1 here. For B1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. For A1, 1, 1, 1, 1. one. These are the characters for A1, B1 and A1. Now, if I go for multiplication of this, what I get is 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. This is nothing but B1. Here, I have got characters which has minus sign. That means it is not totally symmetric. If I get minus sign, it means that the polarization along this Z axis is zero. It is not polarized along Z axis. So, I can eliminate Z polarized option. I go for the second one, A1 multiplied by B1. For X coordinate, the Mulligan symbol is B1. The irreducible representation is B1. So I go for that. 1, 1, 1, 1. For B1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. Once again, B1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. So what I get is 1, since all are 1 for E, I multiply that. For C2, 1, minus 1, into minus 1. What I get is plus 1. The next one, 1, 1, 1. I get 1. Last one, 1, minus 1, minus 1. I get 1. So here, all the characters have plus sign. And it is totally symmetric. So basically it is A1. So when I get totally symmetric irreducible representation, the polarization will not be 0 along this particular axis. So that is in X axis, it is polarized. So I have to find out for which coordinate I get totally symmetric irreducible representation. So for this X I have got, so it is polarized along X axis. Let us go for the next one also, A1, B1. For Y, it is B2. So I go for that. The characters will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 
b2 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 if I multiply what I get is 1 plus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 this is nothing but a2 I don't get totally symmetric irreducible representation that means for this polarization along y axis will be 0 so the answer is x yes.